scraps, I'm going to be making it into a journal cover. Teresa sent me this one. It's fabulous. I thought, oh, I'm going to make one today. So replayers, this is a live, a live chat. And so I will read the chat out to you as people come back and, and find me here. Oh, it's so lovely to, to spend this time with you. Oh, so the little scraps, yes, just uh, use, just um, put, pop them in a little tin and they're, they're brilliant to use. Oh, here come the, here come the, the live chat. I'll read it out to you, replayers. Here come. And I, I'm going to say hello to everybody again because I was buffering and I'm not sure whether you heard me. Good morning, Julia. <laughs> Am I? Ah, oh, and I'm looking good. Oh, thank you, Julia. <laughs> Oh, Kate, good afternoon. I saw you on the um, previous stream and I just wasn't getting around to say hi. There's Kel. Oh, Kel, good afternoon. Oh, so nice to see you. And Helen, good afternoon. I think it's stormy here, isn't it, Helen? It's stormy with you. <laughs> oh, Freddie says hi too to everybody. Barbara, thank you for messaging me. Because yes, it's brilliant. So helpful. Thank you. Good afternoon. Um, good morning, Barbara. Fetch yourself some coffee. And good morning, Michaelia. Lovely Nidia. Good morning to you. Nidia's bringing the sunshine. And here comes Anne back. And we were talking about Miriam's stream by the sea yesterday. I'll link it below. She was painting, wasn't she? At, at the seaside, overlooking the Mediterranean live. Oh, it was, I can't tell you, it was wonderful. So we spent some time together. That was afternoon for me, Anne. I was over at Ben's. There's Lynn. Good morning, Lynn. Hopefully we're back again now. <laughs> oh, and there's Kate. Oh, so lovely to see you. How's life on the farm, Kate? Busy harvesting and, and preserving. Ah, oh, there's Susan Lee. So nice to see you. Susan Lee, hello. You're three time zones closer to you today, visiting your sister in Atlanta. Oh, what an absolute blessing, Susan. It's still early in the morning, and I think you too have got some plans and some catching up to do. Have, have a wonderful time. Thank you for joining us, Susan. Oh, so lovely to see you. There's Darlene back. You found us. Yes, yes. And Lynn found us. Oh, that's so lovely. Oh, let me just scroll down. So I'm going to say, I'll explain what I'm doing in a minute. Let me just catch you all. There's Linda C. I'm so glad that you're able to join us on the lives now. Mm, never any pressure, though. <laughs> it's still dark. <laughs> still dark with you. Oh, thank you so much, um, Linda. Oh, I do appreciate you. Thank you. Oh, and there's, yeah. I think I think I am caught up. Yes. And Harmony. So nice to see you. No, I am missing people. What am I like? Uh, I am. I'm going back. I'm going back to chat and concentrating on you. There is Amy. Now. Oh, and I'm missing. Oh, I'm missing everybody. Amy. Amy from Hippie Chick. I've got my lovely scraps here. Now, Amy, if you go to Amy's channel, I'll link it. She has a wonderful tour of her studio and she opens up a drawer and she has a drawer of scraps, don't you, Amy? <laughs> you have fun with your scraps, maybe, and scrap along. We can scrap along together, can't we? There's Darlene. It's always lovely to see you, Darlene. It truly is. Mm. Let me, am I, am I, I, I still probably am, I need to, and there's our lovely little pickles, 
You'll be in the corner with your tea and blanket, just listening, a bit groggy after, yeah, okay. Now, little pickles, our lovely, our lovely Jody Ann. Let's read a lovely quote for you. You just have your cup of tea and we'll keep things gentle, no sudden noises. And I hope that you drift off to sleep. We'll keep you company, dear, dearest jo Jodie Ann. Do things in your own time. A little quote for Jodie Ann and for, and for other people too. I, I do need to go back because I... I Desperately don't want to meet Miss People. And there is our lovely um, our lovely Trudy. And Trudy, Trudy's in the background too. Bless you, Trudy. Yeah, will you settle down in the background? Yes, and maybe go back to sleep. People are people are mending and healing in the background. We have some gentle listeners too. Mm. Oh, little pickles came in with a quote. And I missed it. Oh, did I miss it? Are you able to write it in again for me, Michaelia? Because I missed that. Our lovely Jody Ann there. Oh. Or did you mean the quote that I just read out for? No, Jody Ann. Oh, bless you. Self-kindness is a gentle whisper that reminds you. Let me just... Open that up so I can concentrate that. Jody Ann, even though you're healing there in the background, you're, you're giving us a lovely quote. Thank you. We do appreciate you. Self-kindness is a gentle whisper that reminds you to embrace flaws and celebrate your uniqueness. Oh, that's wonderful. I get to read that out again. Self-kindness is a gentle whisper that reminds you and me to celebrate flaws and celebrate your uniqueness. Thank you. Trudy and lovely Jodie Ann, you settle back down in the background with all the other gentle listeners. Raoul, good to see you. Hmm. You're going to make a glue book with your sketches. Oh, that's a good idea, Raoul. That's a super idea. <laughs> oh, now if I've missed you, do do give me another chance, won't you? Teresa may be in the background. There's our lovely Patty. Good morning, Patty. So nice to see you. Patty, I wonder what journal you'll be playing in today. You have a lovely vast choice, don't you? Oh, so lovely. There's Pam. Good evening, Pam. Has that storm gone now for you? I know it's been very stormy in Australia. Gosh. I do hope you, you couldn't even go to your art class, could you, because of the storm? Oh, hmm. Miriam, you've got a good signal now. Welcome back. Welcome back. We we I've talked again about your wonderful stream by the sea. I can see Aunt Bex. Where are you, Aunt Bex? Oh, what a joy to see Aunt Bex's dresses. I was waiting on is it Mary Sows? Is that the channel? Maybe Becky may link that. And there were the, your dresser girl dresses and and I, it, your box was the last box. Uh, all the dresses were gorgeous. And I was waiting for your box to be opened. And I was when your box was open, Becky, I was going, oh, I know that dress. I remember Becky making that dress. Oh, it's wonderful, wonderful. There you are, Teresa. You are in the background. You have a headache. You take care. Have some fluid, maybe some water. And you you rest. And maybe you'll go back to sleep, our lovely Teresa. Yes, and I, I've told people about your paper, your wonderful paperclip video. And hopefully people will go and visit that. I'll leave the link. Oh, lovely. Hmm. Oh, 
<laughs> so lovely. Oh, I have watched your replay from this morning with your hats, Becky. Wonderful. There's Karen B. And oh, you're so happy to have stumbled upon the live. Karen Bre Breegy. Oh, Karen Breegy. Oh, there's always a warm welcome and a comfy chair here for you. Yes, I do do some art, but the lives on a Monday, we love to chat. <laughs> welcome, welcome. I'm so glad you stumbled upon us too. <laughs> and there's lovely Jean. Oh, Jean, later, mug of the day, matches, teapot of the day. <laughs> Oh, you'll have to wait, though. <laughs> oh, so lovely to see everyone. Oh, did Mary, Mary Ann make it back? Because I, because we buffered, I buffered, didn't I? Hmm. There's Becky W. Good morning, Becky. Oh, oh and Jean. Oh, Jean Moran. Oh, so nice to see you. Lovely to see you. Welcome, welcome. I haven't seen you for a little while. Always lovely to see you. And there's Karen McGarver, Karen M. Oh, you're busy. You're wet felting. And I'm loving it. Oh, yes, I've seen Beth Shula wet felting. Can that if you've got a channel, like, oh, wet felting, it's just so lovely for your hands, isn't it? You've got the water, it's got some washing up liquid on it, and oh, how lovely. Oh, Karen Ann, wonderful. Oh, enjoy, enjoy the journey of the wet felting. Mm. Oh, Lisa, Lisa understands, Teresa. I'm reading the chat out. No, Mary Ann, you did make it back. I just said, I wonder whether Mary Ann made it back. Oh, lovely to see you. And there's our lovely Marty. Marty's wheeling in the trolley. <laughs> oh, anything from the trolley, dear? <laughs> come on in, come on in. There's always a lovely welcome here for you and a lovely comfy chair for you. Oh, so lovely to see you, Marty. <laughs> There's Harmony. Harmony's having eggs for breakfast, hot from the trolley. <laughs> oh, that's lovely, so lovely. Oh. Well, have I said a Hello to everybody. Hmm. Jean, Jean M, um, you're saying hi to everybody. Very sensible. You don't want to miss people out, do you? So you're saying hi, everyone. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, so lovely to see everybody. It really is. Oh, let me take a breath. And we've got lovely Trudy and Jody Ann in the back ground and some other gentle listeners too. Oh, so nice to see everybody. Shall I explain to you what, what are you doing, Janet? <laughs> hmm. Oh, I love that. I saw old autumn in the misty morn stand shadowless like silence, listening to silence. That's amazing. Would somebody be able to take a screenshot of that for me? Or message it to me? No pressure. It's just that last week my chat didn't download and I don't want to miss any one of these lovely, lovely quotes. Hopefully that doesn't happen. If a year was tucked, if a year was tucked, where am I? I've got it. I've got it. Oh, no, you're, you've taken it back. You're going to reorganise it. I could, probably could have read it. We we speak Taiwanese, don't we? <laughs> oh, there's Janet Kay. Oh, Janet, so nice to see you. There's Freddie. <laughs> oh, yes. If a year was tucked inside a clock, then autumn would be the magic hour. How lovely. 
thank you. Thank you so much, Raul. How lovely. Oh, wonderful quotes. Mm. Autumn embraces change, even as she is falling to pieces. Autumn embraces change, even as she is falling to pieces. And that, it's not always easy to embrace change, is it? Some days we can manage it and other days we just can't. And we, that's, those are the days I say, be kind to yourself. Yes, yes. Thank you for sharing these. If you can message them to me, that would be wonderful. And I, I'm able to then make a note of them. Oh, of all the seasons, I miss autumn. Oh, that's not a quote. Anne said, yeah, Anne. Yes, you miss. Yes. You miss the autumn the most. I think I would if I lived in lived in Florida. I know, Anne, I can hear you. Fortunately, you can travel to your grandchildren's via the internet and watch the autumn there and hopefully on streams as well. Not the same though, is it, Anne? I know. Oh, thank you, Marty. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Mm. I know, beautiful quotes for my fall journal. And I will, especially uh, uh, if, if you get a chance to message them as well, just in case they get lost. Thank you. I can see them coming in on screenshots. I will, I can up the Google document on my community tab and I will link it below. I can update it and add these quotes too. So we are, yes, Lisa, it's so lovely to harvest positivity from one another and, and harvest quotes, isn't it? Oh, it's lovely. It's lovely. Mm, I, I do appreciate you. Thank you. We appreciate one another, don't we? Yes, Penny, we do. We have, well, our fall probably isn't as magnificent as the fall, say, in the northern states of America and Canada. But yes, we do have fall colours, Penny. Yes, it, it's a particular favourite season of mine too. But then again, you'll hear me. Then when spring comes, I'll be saying that. <laughs> oh, dear. Mm. Jean, have you hurt yourself? I'm missing something. Are you okay? Not deep enough for stitches. That's all I can read. And Barbara is chatting to you about that. Mm. And I'm missing that. Mm. Let me just come back. Don't let me know if I'm missing. If I'm missing what you're saying. Bob is saying, clang, clang, clang with my trolley. <laughs> let me. The, the heat of autumn is different from the heat of summer. One ripens apples. The other turns them into cider or apple juice. Hmm, thank you. A period of dormancy is welcome so that we can awaken with new wonder in our hearts in the spring. Oh, that is wonderful, Karen um, B. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Definitely. In what our animals are getting ready to hibernate, getting storing up, aren't they, for the winter? And I was saying in my journal flip through, sometimes we hibernate, don't we? And have those dormant times where we can reassess life and come to terms with things. Oh, Jean, I hope you're okay. Getting lots of um 
help in the chat. Susan, Susan H, so nice to see you. Come on in, come on in. Is this about time? You lovely, you lovely live chat here. I've explained to the replayers what I'm doing. <laughs> Let me... Um, mm. The smell of overripe apples reminds me of being with your grandparents while they may uh, we use the apple press. Ah, oh, it's a yummy sour smell. And it, smells do evoke, don't they, Michaelia? I've got my basil by the side here because I noticed just have to brush against it. Sam was nibbling a piece. It's usually on the kitchen windowsill. Hmm, but just have to knock against it and I'm getting the smell of fresh, fresh basil. Smells are very evocative, aren't they? Mm. That's what we say can be over here in England. We say, oh, let me kiss it better. <laughs> I don't know whether you say that in the States. What else are you, Karen B? Mm. Don't let me miss any of you, will you? Mm. Right, so I've got envelopes, repurpose envelopes, reuse envelopes. I have got my tin of scraps here, little scraps, and here's my autumn journal. So I've done the making of the journal. I've done the flip through video, but someone asked me if I would just go through how to make the envelope part of the journal. So I'm going to do that. Oh, I realised. Oh, look at that. Already, Anne, it's not upside down, but um, it just looking at this made me realise that I have scraps inside and out. So I have folded my scraps over. Never mind. So what I'm going to do to make this, I was concentrating on all of you lovely people in the chat. Oh, there's um, Melissa. Melissa's got her name there as Priscilla, but um, we call you, we can call you Priscilla or Melissa, can't we? So nice to see you. Always lovely to see you. Mm. Oh, what that, that's lovely. So yes, I'm making a journal cover. So I've got my scraps and I'm going to put them inside and out. And this, the reason I like to do something like this is because A, I like to reuse things and upcycle, but B, I like to do something very gentle for my soul. And I also like to do something gentle. So mostly I can concentrate on the live chat. <laughs> so, yes, that's what I'm going to be doing. The reason I was folding these over is because these scraps I turn in cut to be little strips. And these are the ones I fold over and put on the edge of the journal page. So that is why, that is why I was folding them over. What am I like? Hmm. Can you still, yeah, you can still see Freddie. So I will be gently making an envelope. So yes, that's all, all you do. And then when you go, then you, Put a little bit of Happy Mail inside. Well, you don't have to send it. You can use it yourself as a journal cover. But if you want to send it, you can glue it up or sew it with hand sew or machine sew. So we're going to put the, put the little scraps inside and out. So that's just in case you were wondering how to make the cut the envelope cover. And I always do things upside down, back to front, don't I, Anne? <laughs> ah, hmm. Let 
Now, let me just check I'm not. Oh, thank you, Susan. Yes, I, I tend to do I, a, a videos twice a week, just so you can see closely. And on the, the lives, it's, it's about us, isn't it? And the gentle listeners and replay and having a chat. I know that the, the um, replayers enjoy me. Because some replayers don't get to the live chat. And, but they, they do know you because they're used to them reading out things. Um, Jean, I do hope you um, you get your, your, you heal soon. I've, I've missed what's happened, but I do hope you. There's always crafting is, oh, what, what am I like? Holly. <laughs> Holly, so nice to see you. Come on in. Come on in. It's probably a bit early in the morning for you to have started crafting already. Oh, Janet USA. <laughs> Hello again. I was buffering, wasn't I? And and I I I believe that everything's okay now. So I am very pleased. Mm. Oh, Harmony says, is there pumpkin spiced coffee on oh, on the on the trolley? Oh. I love that. I love pumpkin spice. Reminds me of my time, our time in New York. Oh, gosh, all those years ago. Wonderful. And we, we walked the High Line and we stopped off and had, I don't know what you call them. It, was it an ice cream sandwich? I don't know what you call it. It's like it was a pumpkin cookie with pumpkin ice cream, two cookies and ice cream in the middle. It was just, it was the bee's knees, it really was. <laughs> oh, Melissa Priscilla. Oh, yes, it's a lovely name. I love your name, Melissa Priscilla. I really do. Oh, hmm. Ah. Michaelia said, did I crochet the little um, bit behind me? Um, our, our Aunt Bex, um, we can link, link below to uh, our Aunt Bex has crochet on her channel. And this is one of the washcloths she gave me. And it's so lovely. So I, I wet it down. And then at the end of the session, I can just wash it. It's cotton. Isn't it wonderful? I love it. Oh, Mary Ann lives 45 minute train ride from Manhattan and still haven't done the highlight. Oh, but I, you could say the same about some of the things in London. I wouldn't call the High Line is where they've made a linear park on an old raised railway line in New York. And it's very arty. I would consider it to be not a tourist attraction, more of a way of life, even for locals. Plenty of places to sit, beautiful planting. planting. Oh, there's a lovely Irene. Ah, oh, so lovely to see you, Irene. Oh, do you remember when I showed in one of my vis my videos? This is lovely, Irene, who made this, and it's an easel ATC card. And of course, on the video, I I displayed it wrong, didn't I? And Irene has told me how she made it, so we can do that together sometime. <laughs> Thank you, Irene. And I do trust you are healing well. It's so lovely to see you. Never any pressure, though. Mm. You inherited a lot of yarn, but you do not crochet or knit yet. Oh, Michaelia, during lockdown, I taught myself to crochet. I went to a channel called Bella Coco and with my with my yarn and my hook, plenty of 
being gentle with myself and thinking, no worries, undo, and start again, stopping the video, pausing the video. And yeah, I taught myself to crochet. I that that year I crocheted lots of lots of scarves. And then I went on to be part of Aunt Bex Creations, link below. I it oh, Bella Coco, lovely. Thank you, for, thank you, Janice. Thank you, Jana, as well. And part of her and I, I did a crochet along. Now, some stitches, I'm, I'm kind to myself, some stitches I wasn't very good at, but we learned lots of new stitches. So it is possible if the time is right. Sometimes it's, the, it's a good time in life to start new things. Sometimes we just need to do familiar things like gluing scraps of paper on recycled envelopes. Go gently with yourself. Yes, yeah, message me and we can always talk about crochet, Michaelia. <laughs> Thank you. And there's our Bex link there. Thank you. Always such wonderful help and great company for everybody. Ah, oh, Vicky, you made it back. So nice to see you. So nice to see you. I'm so glad you did because it's lovely to all be together. Mm. Yum, yum, that ice cream. I know, it was delicious. And it was in gorgeous, trendy, printed, it would have New York Journal. <laughs> Or maybe I should do a flip through of it. <laughs> oh, hmm. oh, oh, Irene, you're relieved, relieved and happy. Wonderful news here from from Irene. I'm going back. I'm going back. Oh, where are you, Irene? You have some great news about your health. Everybody else is happy. I'm happy. Oh, Irene, that's wonderful. Oh, you're sweet. You can't explain. Mm -hmm. That lovely Cheryl. And yes, Aunt Beck is um, making hat crocheting hats for the homeless now. Just put out a day. Mm. Having a big bowl of Neapolitan ice cream with chocolate sauce trying to cheer yourself up. Kelly, oh, that's it. You stay stay with us. Sometimes we have days like that, don't we, Kelly? That's it. Yeah, I love Neapolitan ice cream. That's it. Yes. I'm going to write on, on that note um, with this wonderful news about hiring. But thinking as well about people here in the background that aren't well or that aren't having the best of days I'm going to light the candle and as I say approach the candle how you want to yeah it's just a time just to slow ourselves down and think about others and ourselves Amy hi you, you were just in time to hear um, Irene's wonderful news. That's lovely. Mm. Let me just read this. Everything changes. Even the things you wish would remain the same.
our lovely Holly, always crafting, is creating a hippo from elastic bands. Wonderful. You have a channel, don't you? Go to Holly's channel if you want to find out more about Holly's creations. That's amazing. Mm. Okay, yeah, interesting question, isn't it? Mm. Oh, Marty, you're looking after him. Oh, yes. <laughs> Is he encroaching on your creative time? <laughs> You look after him, yes, yes. Mm. Oh, yes, Cheryl. You, I bet you're thinking of them. Bless you, yes, yes. Um, by the way, um, Cheryl, you get yourself a nice coffee. It's so lovely to see you. <laughs> I'm going to put this away for the little minute. Look at this gorgeous tin, Scottish shortbread. I love it. I had biscuits in. But when I saw this tin, that was in Poundland. It was probably £1.25. But when I saw the tin, I thought, oh, that would be lovely for the desk. And look at this little flag, this little matchstick flag. Let me read what this says to you. I, I wanted to do that, so I, I sellotaped it to the side here. I wanted to read it out. It's very small, you might not be able to read it. It says, you are not alone. Reach out to your friends, reach out to your family, reach out to your community here, your art community. And just remember, you are not alone. I will probably be going round the gaps here. I haven't done very much because we've been chatting, but you can see it's the beginnings of cover for a journal. <laughs> I've got other things that I would like to do. <laughs> I get to scrape some paint. Did Kimberly make it back? Did Kimberly and Beef make it back to this one? Oh, thank you, Croji. So nice to see you. Croji's Corner. So nice to see you. Come on in. We are having a wonderful day. Look at me being organised, fitting my apron on. You're not used to timed meals all day. <laughs> Just one big one. I know. You said, oh, Marty, it's coffee time. Oh, it's like you've got the trolley out all the time, Marty. As demanding as we are. <laughs> I do hope his eye is healing well, actually. Hmm. There's Gail. Good morning, Gail. So nice to see you. Hmm. Oh, yes, it was my mum's apron. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Jean. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Oh, dear. You got rained on. And, yeah, oh, we got rained on yesterday on the way to Ben's. <laughs> just as we got off the tram heavens opened oh yes and then you didn't have any internet and you're only just getting here now oh oh dear <laughs> oh welcome girl i'm so glad you've made it now mm. Linda, Linda C, welcome back to this live. Oh dear, you were in the other one and I lost internet, didn't I? And Linda's in from one of our friends from Australia, so it's evening time. I'm not sure whether lovely Pam and Fuscat made it back, but they'll be on the replay. I want to be doing some more on my sunflower collage. But, oh, I don't know where to put it, because you want to see Freddie. Basically, you want to see Freddie, don't you? There, I'll put it there. I haven't got any green tissue paper. You know when you're doing a project and you leave it sat there, and I'm thinking, what do I want to add? These are you in the chat, these hearts, these seeds of love, that all your favourite colours and the petals in the sky. We were doing some last week. I want to add some green. Do I want to add a leaf? 
do I want to frame it with green? I was enjoying the tissue paper. I haven't got any tissue paper. So I thought, can you scrape? This is acrylic paint, by the way. Just left over from the boys. Can you scrape paint onto tissue? I think we realised, yes, you can the other day. So I'm going to just make some tissue paper to go on my green tissue paper. So, yeah, I went to look in my Christmas wrapping case but I, and I found some white tissue paper instead. So I thought, oh, I will just make some emerald green. Oh, oh, Pam, you did make it back. Oh, you're making a connection with 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 our lovely Linda's Linda C. Oh yes. So yes, we can, as we found out last week. Oh, what a joy. <laughs> mm. What have I missed? What have I missed up here? Hmm. Oh, sorry, Cheryl. I can see you. I'm sorry if I missed you out some. Hmm. Coffee is in hand. Oh, good, good. I might be missing what you're saying, Mary Ann. Hmm, I think I am. Yes, my little apron. <laughs> oh, Julia, did I welcome you back into this chat or have I been totally ignoring you? Oh, what am I like? What am I like? <laughs> oh, I've got some, you know, when you open paints and I've just put it together there, it's just, just so I can use the dregs. So I've got different colour greens and I'm just making myself some green tissue paper just so we can visit for a while. Mm. Lovely. If it rips it doesn't matter because I'm ripping it up to go on here as well. So mm. oh you're popping in. Lovely. It's great paint says Kimberly. Yes, yes and it's not even a prompt. <laughs> we don't need permission. Kimberly doesn't need permission to scrape paint. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> There's Marianne. Oh, I missed what you were uh, what you were sharing, but I think I will find out. Hmm. Right, so I'm going to get some. What what are what this green is like? Just pretty standard from the from the um, from Poundland. Nearly said the dollar store. Turning American. <laughs> oh dear. Just I put this on the grease food paper. Oops, that, that one there. Ooh, lovely. This will have a lot of depth. Now, if it, if it was green tissue paper, I could just do some on the top. Now, I've been say I like to save things. When this was a yogurt pot, and I thought, oh, I love the shape of it. Mmm. <laughs> oh, there's Marty's feeding. I'm oh, feeding hubby. You must be exhausted, Marty. Oh, now this is painty paper. It will get ripped. Enjoy the journey. Janice has sent me a few screenshots. Thank you, Janice. Yeah, Janice, it's just in case my chat gets lost because I, I go back and it's a joy to go back, read the chat. Sometimes I, I see that I've missed saying hi to some people, but thank you, just in case. Normally my chat's there, isn't it, replays? There's a me. Oh, so nice. You're off for a few days. A me always wonderful to see you ah oh, so lovely hmm. <laughs> oh marty oh dear i know love him dearly oh that does not disappoint so do, are you like that you collect on your desk 
because I'll probably recycle them in the end or I save favourite ones because you cannot save everything, can you? <laughs> oh, I don't do horror movies, Royal. I'm a, I am such... Thank you, Amy, dear. Um, oh, you're back, Harmony. <laughs> Janet's back, Trolley's back, all is well with the world. Chat's back, <laughs> well done. Isn't that yummy, yummy shape? I love that as painty painty paper. That would make a lovely background. Maybe I won't rip that up. Maybe it'll make a nice background in my composition book. Oh, Fetch yourself some tissue paper and have fun scraping things. <laughs> I know you want to. Let me, if I move my gorgeous, just for the minute, my gorgeous basil, you'll be able to see the sunflower. And I'm thinking, do I want leaves? What do I want? Let's just, I'm not going to waste any paint. So I was using that. Hmm. Oh, oh, Susan, yes, because, oh, no, no, don't worry, no, not at all. Susan, this was your, the tissue paper you sent with your package, isn't it? Yes, you sent me a little journal and it's here and I'm going to be using that. Oh, yes, the tissue paper, it's lovely, and I printed on that, the yellow, thank you. Oh, don't we love a packaging? And we always so chuck with the packaging and save it. Mm. Thank you. And you managed to get the prompts done. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. You were indoors for a, a few days, weren't you? Because of the storm pan. Yes, yes. Oh, never any pressure to do the prompt, though. Maybe sometimes you only get to just do one of them. <laughs> It's just a way to start us off, really, isn't it? That's lovely. You see, we're just not wasting anything. And then I will be doing more scraping paint. Isn't that lovely? I just wanted to show you that as a progress because maybe next week when you come back, I'll have added something to it. But it's sitting for the minute. Mm. And then it will be lovely to rip, Jean, won't it? Yes. Ah, oh, there's lovely Rain Girl. So nice to see you. Rain Girl, is your name Cindy? I do apologise if, it, if it's not. So nice. Welcome, welcome, Rain Girl. Come in. Three minutes and counting. No, it's two minutes. I had an eight-minute warning for Mrs. Teapot's time. Wow. You, Jean, you, you need wait no longer to see Mug of the Day and Teapot of the Day. I think it's that light paint that just, it's hard to see through it, that just makes that. Can you imagine that with some white splashes? See, that's, that's some art just there. And where the white, I like it with the white background, where the white shows through, white space. Mm. Wow. I'll put that over there to dry. Oh, the floor. Yes. Put it on the floor. Oh, oh, someone's got to situate it. Somebody knows the time. <laughs> There's Heather. So nice to see you. Oh, my my computer had to go through a, a, re, a reboot this morning and then only just finished. And then I was buffering, but we're here now. You're here now, Heather. Yes, thanks um, very much. <laughs> There's Freddie. I know, I know. Oh, is there Mary Ellen, Red Parrot? Hi, so nice to see you. Come on in, come on in. Oh. It's a sunflower. So, yes, yes, yes. Different painting. Yes, we, oh, I've just been, just been loving the hopefulness. And the giving of a, a sunflower at the moment. So, oh, I'm going to enjoy this. I might do a whole series of different colours with that tissue paper. Oh, lovely. Hmm. 
Yes, Mrs Teapot's time now. We can set our watch to it, hopefully, can't we? <laughs> hmm. Where are we? Yes. Ding. Got my thumbs. Sit up. <laughs> oh, Freddy. Oh, did I bring the mug in? Oh, it's in the kitchen. Oh, I thought I'd brought the mug in. Well, just give me two sets, two shapes of a lamb's tail, and I will go and get the mug. There's me showing off about mug of the day, Jean, and I got it. Ah, <laughs> oh, there we are. Now let's give let's give Freddie mug of the day, my little owl. Where? Oh yes. What are we doing, Freddie? <laughs> there. Yeah. These ones don't crunch. They're a bit small, aren't they? Oh, it's mm -hmm. small. Okay. Hope you don't feel shortchanged. Oh dear, I don't know. What am I missing? <laughs> oh, am I missing anything? Oh, Miriam's saying hi to Freddie. And there's Linda. Good morning. Yes, yes, you're in time for tea. Yes. <laughs> Put some milk in my owl mug. Oh, hope that's not too loud for our lovely. I'm just going to put my basil back now. So when I touch it, it's just going to waft. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous scent. And yes, make myself a cup of tea. Oh, my latest. £3.50 in a charity shop. Isn't it lovely? <laughs> oh, Michaelia. Oh, dear, I've got my strawberry tea here. This is just my firm favourite. I think because it evokes, the smell and the taste evokes my lives. It just reminds me of us being all together. Oh, lovely. Hmm. A little robin tray there. Hmm. Put that down gently. There we are. There. <laughs> right. Excuse me while I just make my cup of tea. And then let me just check on chat to see if I've missed anything. Oh, I love this teapot. Such a good little pourer. <laughs> Oh, and the owls are your favourite. Well, Freddie, Nikki and I were out at dusk and they've been cleaning, doing some conservation work around near a pond. And Nikki was saying, look, it's teeming with little mice. And, and the, it was getting a bit darker, so we were leaving the park. And then all of a sudden, there was a crow, but then there was another bird and it went, ooh. <laughs> Just one little. Ooh, and I could clearly see by its wing shape and the roundness of its face. Oh, so Nikki and I were chuffed to bits. We really were to see the owl. <laughs> Heather, I know, thrifty brag. I know, I am just over the moon with my teapot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Marty. <laughs> Oh dear. Mm. Woohoo! Who wants tea? It says Linda. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, the owls are on the lookout for my Cindy. Yes, yes. Yes, tea tastes so tastes so much better from a, a cute teapot. I agree. <laughs> Oh, lovely. Right, so, oh, what are we up to? 
What are we up to? Let's um, pop some things away. We'll be thinking about our prompts, won't we? Hmm. Oh, some lovely quotes from everybody today. Could this Lynn sent me this little journal. Let me show you what a journal looks like when I'm I'm working on it. And it's wallpaper and it's got some white pages inside and it is, has two staples and I already used one for Journal of Hope but this one and I just keep slotting little things in it and then I had some little bits left over from the fish page that I did and look lots of bits <laughs> that's great because if I grab this and a blue stick and maybe some washing job done you know I don't have to because sometimes it's exhausting thinking what would I like to do it's nice to have things ready isn't it hmm You had an owl hooting near your house, Lisa. Ah, oh, the reason I am so, we were so over the moon is because we do live in a city like five minutes that way. Oh, high rise. And yes, concrete. It's a very arty town, as you know, I've shown you. Mm. This sounded, but I Very fortunate. Green belt, oh, cons conserved conservation area, so they can't build on it. Mm. Good morning, Big Mama. You're coming over from Cheryl's. Mm. Oh, you've made a little book, and it's based on the secret garden with a big door on the cover. Oh, Linda C. How amazing. Oh, Pam, Pam and Pussycat Pam is, is making um, a secret garden journal too. Oh, wow. Thanks, Jana. <laughs> Lindsay. <laughs> we are well, thank you. Lindsay W. There's little Freddie there. <laughs> So nice to see you. Come on in. And there's Carrie. Good morning, Carrie. So nice to see you. Come on in. Always nice to see you. If I've missed you when I was off getting the cup of tea and the mug and giving Freddie's little treat, let me know. Pam says, guess what, Janet? You've got some, you've got some tea and jam toast and jam tea from the local supermarket here in Australia no oh goodness me that's a coincidence <laughs> that's amazing so we obviously export Yorkshire tea well we do because that's what you drink isn't it the ordinary one oh how funny when Ben goes to New Zealand he's going to try and get some Tim Tams, those are an Australian chocolate biscuit, a little bit like our penguin biscuit. <laughs> There's Stephanie. So nice to see you, Stephanie. How are you and the family? So nice to see you. Come on in. Mm. In Australia, in Sydney, you have owls and they are called power, powerful owl. As they are so big. Oh, all the different types of owls. I've never heard of that type before. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> Lindsay says she is grand. <laughs> oh, and isn't it lovely to see Carrie? Yes, come on in. Come on in. <laughs> oh. oh, Cheryl bought some peach herbal tea yesterday. Oh, how lovely. Oh, you'll be able to relax with that later. Just enough for one mug. <laughs> one owl mug of tea. Hmm. Oh, Heather says in Canada, you have Tim Tams at your grocery shop. You assume they were British. They're Australian. Hmm. Hmm. A fair 
cherry cake anyone? <laughs> I'll leave them here so you can help yourself. <laughs> They've just got just my ordinary little fairy cakes, probably made by Flo. They've got raisins in. I'll pop it there because I'm going to eat that later so I'm not talking with my mouth full. <laughs> Thank you, Carrie. <laughs> you all make it lovely. Hmm. Sandy, take good care. Bye, Sandy. So nice to see you. Mm. Your Lindsay's enjoying a cup of tea. Well, yes, and for our American friends, you're having a coffee, aren't you? To um, try and wake up. Mm. Mm. Michaelia, it's a different type of cake mixture, fairy cake. Uh, it's it's. I'm going to go in ounces, not cups. Two eggs, just so you can get the feel of it. Two ounces, two eggs, four ounces of sugar, four ounces of flour, and four ounces of butter. It's not as the mixture, the cake batter, is not as runny as um, as a muffin. I make American. Um, muffins and I get in a mess because you pour it don't you I get in such a mess I make um oh what were the muffins I made and we loved them is it I think it was butternut squash oh butternut squash muffins with Jamie Oliver oh goodness and uh, Pam and Puskat's having her um, having her toast and jam tea at the same time as ours. Oh, that's it. Look, there it is. And I love the the box. I make little bookmarks for the box. Mm. Yes. Could somebody drop in Always Crafting Holly's link? Yes, definitely. If you want to pop in your own links or ask the mods to pop in your links, that would be wonderful. Mm. I don't know the Muffin Man, but I think he lives just down my way, um, Barbara. <laughs> mm. But that would be a different type of muffin, <laughs> an English muffin. Mm -hmm. They do. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. Butternut squash muffins. They're lovely. That's a genuine Oliver recipe. And you use the food processor and you don't even, you don't, peel you wash the skin you don't you take the pits out but you don't wash and um you're right darling let's sit you let's get you back situated here that's it that's it i don't think there's any thunder yet we're all right it's been getting a bit that's it a bit anxious about the thunder unless it's far away mm. you, yeah you just whiz it up in the food processor and it just cooks. Oh, I must put that on the shopping list. But very, does anybody else find making muffins? You're getting such a mess. Mm. Lindsay W. Yes. Lindsay's from Scotland. Mm. And you've got a friend who kindly sends you tea once a year. What's your favourite tea, Lindsay W? What were you brought up with? We were brought up with PG Tips. Yorkshire tea is a new thing, really. We love it. Mm. <laughs> ah, right. There we are. Prompts. Let me show you my page from last week. Where am I? I made last week pockets with the prompts. There's a lot in these pockets. It's handy to have pockets. Here we are. I don't know whether I used all the prompts in the end, but here's the pocket. And it says hopes and dreams. And oh, do you remember one of the prompts was koala bear? <laughs> I think Pam was particularly pleased with that one. Hmm. Kimberly, thank you for putting in links. Thank you. Oh, happy.
Cookie Maker is Carol, and you have Earl Grey. Oh, how lovely! That's that's lovely. My, I I've got friends who drink. Just I keep Earl Grey in the the the, the um in the pantry, so you'll be fine when you knit round because I I do keep that in for friends when they visit. <laughs> Oh, Susan Hill loves all the, um, all of them, mm. all, all the muffins. Lindsay W drinks Yorkshire Gold. Oh, yes, that's nice when, it, especially when it's on offer. Mm, definitely. We do like a bargain, don't we? Mm. Thank you, Kimberly and Lynn, for popping in channels and popping your own channel as well, Lynn, there too. Mm. You have Red Rose and Tetley, etc. Red Rose used to give out little ceramic sculptures. Really? Oh, how amazing. We used to get tea cards and they look like this. I can show you one. Because the, Julia gave me some tea cards, didn't you? These came in our PG tips. It's Heather says she likes PG tips. And this was Features of the World. So you've got, you've got little series. Ooh! And you put them in a book. Oh, let me show you here. This is beyond precious. Beyond. Julia gave me this. And it's some I am going to treasure it because I had one as a child but that's long gone that's fine things we do but it's missing its cover but this is what we used to do and as a child we used to collect them they 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 came in boxes grease proof paper no plastic then the pg tips they always oh it smelled nice and you always have that the little tea card and this one is the wildflowers. Isn't it precious? Mm. You're a coffee drinker, Carrie. Oh, yes, we like coffee too. Yes, yes. And you have strong black coffee. Yes, Carrie. <laughs> I have a coffee in the mornings and a coffee maybe after a meal too. Mm. Like Cracker Jack toys before they change to stickers, says Harmony. Is that in a cereal, maybe? Mm. Oh, this is so lovely. It's so lovely just to be sitting, chatting. I've got the lovely, gentle listeners. Maybe drifting off to sleep and healing or joy and joining in. Yeah, Mary, um, aren't they gorgeous, Mary Ann? And it had little pictures. And you just, you know, as a child, you just, oh, got to collect them all. And then you'd swap them at school. Thanks, Julia. I treasure it. That's something not, that, that's something to have on the bookshelf to look at. Oh, I'm so glad we were talking about that. <laughs> How nice, Harmony. <laughs> Hmm. In a box of snack caramel popcorn called Cracker Jack. Oh, how interesting. We used to have a television programme here called Cracker Jack. What was the catchphrase for cat, uh, Cracker Jack? Used to win a prize and they used to say, do you want the Cracker Jack pencil? <laughs> the British people might know about that. Am I right? Lindsay loves Cracker Jack. It's a cereal or a bar. Mm. Yes, they did. They did, Mary Ellen. I had those too. Yes. Mm. Mm. Also, you've got another subby. That's really lovely. Always crafting, Holly. That's lovely. You're building your channel. <laughs> Is that a song? I don't know that song. That could be our song of the day, couldn't it? Oh, Penny, you enjoy Taylor's English breakfast. Oh, we have Taylor's coffee as well and Taylor's Christmas. Taylor's is a lovely brand, isn't it? Yes, yes. Hmm. Oh, your favourite is when your husband cuts wildflowers and brings them back to you. That's lovely, Karen. Isn't that lovely? Mm. Yeah, that's it. 
that's it. Oh, Julia, it's Friday. It's five to five and it's Cracker Jack. Yes, yes, that was our TV programme. It was a funny one as well, wasn't it? I seem to remember. <laughs> oh, that's it. And then the prize was a Cracker Jack pencil. <laughs> oh, I'd have loved one of those pencils, wouldn't you? Mm. Um, oh, Heather, collectible glasses, actual glasses. Gosh, um, as in drinking vessels. Wow. Mm. Mm. This is lovely. Mm. Thank you. Thank you so much, um, Charlie. Mm. And oh, yes, Mary Ellen says. Mary Ellen, you'll be watching out. Our lovely Mary Ellen will be doing, um, that's Red Parrot, will be doing these. And maybe I will too. We could completely make tea cards. Yes. What are the measurements? What are the measurements? Wonderful idea. They've just got that little bit of white around the edge. Can you see that? Barbara's sending me the song of the day. <laughs> I, I'll put it in the link below so you can have a little sing along. Mm. Karen says, um, these are probably too American, but riding your bike to buy and collect a new little rubber Smurf was we'll so look forward to it. Oh no, we had Smurfs when I was growing up, little Smurfs, yes, and the little trolls with the colorful hair. You, and, and you had a troll that went on the end of your pencil as well. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> yes, I love the botanicals. Oh, let me show you what's the size is. Do you want it in inches? I'm very old fashioned like that. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. It's two and three quarter inches down. Two and three quarters by. Nearly, nearly one and a half, two and three quarters by nearly one and a half. So what's it? One, two, three, four. One inch, point four. We could definitely make those. Was that clear as mud, my measurements? Do it in centimetres, it might help. Yeah, that's three and a half centimetres by six and a half. Let's make our own tea cards. Ah, oh, wonderful. Should we put that as a prompt? <laughs> oh, darling. So nice to see you. Mm. You have to get used to it, don't you, darling? Yeah, definitely. Mm. Oh, and Pam, Pam, you're talking to Pam because Pam's gluten free. Mm. <laughs> Barbara's singing. Barbara, are you making that tune up yourself? <laughs> I love that. So that's my last week. So shall we do some prompts now? Do you know, I am so incredibly relaxed. Do you know, I was making, I was making a video and I went back, I'm in the middle of it for Tuesday, tomorrow, and I went back to do some editing and I thought, oh, Janet, you're speaking so slowly. I just can't help it because sometimes I just feel so relaxed when we're together. <sighs> oh, Lin Linda. Yes, I was. I used to have used to have a glass conservatory. Very, very. What was the house? Oh, the house was built in 1910, 1920 or something like that. A very old glass, small lean to e conservatory walls and then glass and I used to sit in there 
when it wasn't too cold. I used to sit in there and I had all my drawing stuff. I used to love, I had mostly wax crayons and I used to love the smell. And, and then, oh, my granny gave me, I remember once, this box and it had a whole load of milliners bits that milliners use for making hats so I was sticking those because we just had flour and water glue didn't we back in those days and sellotape and I my dad was an electrical wholesaler so I had electrical tape as well and in the colours I used to use that mm. oh what's our Becky saying up here baking cabinets all cleaned out and wiped off Oh, just good food now and organised. Yes, yes. Oh, that's great. Especially down south. Is that right, Becky? You have to keep them like that. Mm. My little creative cottage. Welcome, welcome. Come on. Welcome back. <laughs> so nice to see you again. Oh, lovely. Hmm. Oh, Amy, take good care, Amy. So nice that you could join us for a bit in the live. Take good care. Hmm. You just got a new strawberry shortcake T-shirt. Oh, and I bet that is a conversation starter. So retro. <laughs> oh, we haven't put. Pop some numbers in. What we do... If you're new to this, we put in numbers between 1 and 150. And then I do number.org and I pick a number on or nearest under. And I just send a tiny little bit of happy mail. I can't remember what I was going to send. Hmm. I know what I can send. I can send the little paper clip I've been making. This is for my video tomorrow. So, yes, I can send that. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I send, I'll pop that in an envelope. Brilliant. So, pop numbers in now between 1 and 150. That's it. All oh, numbers are coming in. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, it's so lovely to have you with us, Irene. So lovely, and I'm so your news is so welcome. Okay, Becky, Becky will be right back. Mm. Harmony wants Becky to do her cleaning now. Mm. Oh, Demi, so nice to see you, Demi. You come right in and come and relax with us. Ah, oh, Laurie B, so nice to see you. Oh, come on in, Laurie. Always lovely to see you. That's it, popping numbers in. How lovely. Pop some numbers in for yourself and for other people as well. Anybody, friends, neighbours. Hmm. Oh, Marty, you take care. Yes, yes. And and I, I do hope Hubby's eye continues to heal well too. There's Bonnie. Good morning, Bonnie. So nice to see you. Come right in. Come right in. Hmm. Thank you. And Mary Ann's here to pop her own number in. You're walking tomorrow, aren't you, Mary Ann? Hmm. That's so lovely. We've got Trudy in the background and lovely Jodie Ann in the background too. Someone could pop a number in for them because they came in and but said they weren't very well. So, yeah. Mm. You didn't like the Yorkshire Gold when you tried it, Pam. Too strong. Mm. I like strong tea but with quite a lot of milk in. What I like? Fussy. Fussy English people are very fussy when it comes to their tea, aren't we? <laughs> oh, that's it. You're still there, Tr Holly. That's right. Hi. That's it. Lovely. Thank you. Right. So let's let some numbers. Julia. Hmm. Oh. 
Crojo Creations, are you still there? Yes, you're Laura, who had the flowers. Ah, oh, are you still there, um, Laura? Oh, it's if only I had read what Julia had put earlier. Are you still there or have you gone? So nice. Welcome to the chat. Ah, oh, right, let me let me get oh Julia, what am I like? Um I think I'm little Miss Chatterbox this morning. It's like being at school, <laughs> not doing much good chatting. <laughs> right, okay, random, that's just me anyway. Oh dear, right, random number generator between one and a hundred. And um, generate a number, oh no, 100 and 150, yeah. Mm -hmm. And generate the number, and it's number 73. Who's got number 73? Just put 73 there in a little heart, and I will send you the little paper clip, fabric paper clip embellishment. <laughs> and I've got a video coming out tomorrow of how to do those. Mm. Oh, yes, you noticed the scones. Um, I was trying to, yes, controversial, I was trying to be, yes, the Devon way and the Cornish way. <laughs> oh, dear. I did talk too much in school. I did enjoy my art class and my the English. I loved English. I loved all the novels. I had a wonderful English teacher, especially in this literature, and she used to read to us as well. It's wonderful. Hmm. Covering all the bases. <laughs> Lindsay W got in trouble at school for putting stinking novels behind your maths books. You used to read. <laughs> Happy New Week, Kerr. Talking about reading, here comes Kerr. Kerr loves her reading, don't you? Come on in. Mm. You didn't see anyone say 73, but someone said 74. Is there one that's nearest under, um, Holly? Let's see. Um, Marianne says she was 68. Is that the nearest? Let's let's see. I I leave it to people in the chat because I'm, I'm never that brilliant at checking those. Mm. Honey Penny, lovely to see you. I know Mondays is busy for you. Yeah. Um, yes, someone will tell me in a minute. Um, 68 is what I see and lovely. Mary Ann, how wonderful. Just re-message me your address and I will get this in a little envelope. I'm making envelopes as we speak at the desk from calendar pages. So wonderful. <laughs> I think I've made sure I've saved one for my autumn journal. So mm, lovely. Right, so let's pick out prompts from picnic basket shall we <laughs> oh god it's been such good company or oh, you always are why am i surprised we've been chatting a lot uh, basically have we been doing any art one two three four five Ooh, if you want a treat go to Kerr's page i will say no more um go to her Latest video is it and see what Kerr does with a, with a composition book. Absolutely amazing. You would all want to be trying this. Mm. I haven't. Isn't that funny? I have not decorated my mobile case phone. Isn't that funny? The only thing it has on it is splashes of paint. I don't know why I haven't done that. Yeah, you'd think I would have done, wouldn't you, Heather? <laughs> oh, dear. Right, let's have the first prompt, forest. Oh, now, wouldn't 
oh, I'm going to do mine in a magazine in the magazine journal. Let's just flip to a page, front back, front back, middle, so it doesn't get too wonky. Did that ship sail? I don't know. No, I think it's fine. I'm going to do this page. I'm also going to be making a postcard. It, it's a pasta, but I thought, oh, it's got a little window. I might need to reinforce this bit a bit, but this is the bit. I'm going to do it this way so you put the address this side. I'm going to send that through the post. <laughs> Good morning, Cat. So nice to see you, Cat Sue. Oh. Are you off, Lindsay? Goodbye. So I'm so glad that you could join us. We have had a chatty time. Mm. We have had a really chatty time. There we are. So yes, I'm going to be making a postcard at the same time. So do it that so I don't get it upside down. Yes, like that. Lovely. Let's scrape some paint, shall we? First of all, and then forest. Mm. Ah, Kate C says, hello, friends. <laughs> hello, so nice to see you. No, no, you're not late. You're just in time. <laughs> there we are. I'm just putting, this is gesso, and it's like a chalky acrylic waterproofy surface just to knock back the shininess of the magazine. And if I scrape it, it does dry quite quickly. Now, you could do this ahead of time. Do one of the prompts, none of the prompts. Do we need journal? There we are. Forest. I'll be making this postcard at the same time. Now, let's see if I've got some foresty pictures, shall I? Kerr's got her coffee. Bye, Carrie. Take good care. I'm so glad that you. Oh, Cindy's going to make her cup of tea now. Oh, and Darling's off to take the dog. Oh, take good care. Mm. Oh, but you will be you, you will be right back. Okay. Okay, going to take the dog out. Now, what where can I get a forest picture from? Let's see if I've got a forest picture in here. Mm. Oh, Julia says, be right back. There's a frog just jumped through the door. That, that's, is that tantamount to the dog ate my homework? Do we really believe that? No, I'm teasing you, Julia. Oh, a frog. They're really good to have in the garden because they eat all the slugs and the snails. Ooh. The reason I'm looking through here is because this is my collection. For my fairy journal, I thought I might have a foresty picture in here. One would have thought, wouldn't one? Oh, that's more orchard, isn't it? That's apple. Let's see if I can find a foresty picture. Let's take this out. Take my little mushroom thing. Take care, Harmony. So nice to see you. Oh, there we are. It's always great to scrape paint and throw a bit of gold around. If in doubt, if in doubt. And, and also doing a, quite a bit of tea dyeing. Coffee dyeing. I'll say no more. Head over to your channel. Kerr's channel. Kerr's channel to see. Oh, that's my take on the lake. Good morning, Kat. So nice to see you. Mm. 
Oh, Julia. Julia has just popped out of chat, if you've just come in, because a frog jumped through her door. Look at this wonderful picture. This lady is walking through the forest with her basket. Isn't that absolutely wonderful? So the first prompt was forest. So I'm, going to, I'm just going to tap that down because I don't know quite what's going to happen. I'll probably want to do things coming out of her basket. And we'll see. Oh, and look what's on the side of that. There's some blueberries. Did you notice those, Karen? <laughs> Take care, Miriam. Have a good afternoon. Mm. Oh. oh, Kat's been listening and all the trips down memory lane. Oh, don't we love our trips down memory lane? Mm. Oh. There we are. Right, that's my forest. What's the next one? Let me see if I can get Fred to come back. Come back because people want to see you, Freddie. It's not tea time yet. It is dinner time. It's um, that's it. You to sit up on your chair because people would love to see you. That's it. I'm here. That's it, darling. Look. I'm wondering. I'm wondering. Oh, who's coming? Can you hear thunder? You're just a bit unsettled from yesterday. Would you rather? You'd rather be on the floor. Yeah, all right, darling. Because there has been thunder. It's just got a little bit. Yeah, that's it. There you go. You'd rather be here. That's it. Right, let's have another prompt. Mm. Something that begins with the letter B. Oh, that's an interesting one. Oh, that's an interesting prompt. We've never had one like that before. Something that begins with the letter B. Wow, okay. Oh, thanks, Kat, of the autumn one. And you wrote down the quotes. Oh, for your journal. That's lovely, Kat. Kat, Kat C. Oh, lovely. Mm. Oh, my niece has bought me the, the Reminiscence magazine before. Yeah. Mm. I know, Stephanie. He does. He does. He does. I've got my... I've got my my cardigan here, the big cardigan that I put over him when he gets upset. There you go. Oh, he's down there. I'm sorry you can't see him, but he's just feeling like that today. I know. Right. Something, something beginning with the letter B. Why don't I find, find yourself one of your favourite magazines or a magazine and have a little flip through and see what see what appears. Oh wow. I'm going to flick through my my lovely look at me. I can't speak now. Flick through my lovely Daphne's Diary magazine. If I hold it up here, you can see it. Oh, look at this vintage bath for a baby. That's lovely. I'd like that in my forest, a bath. Wonderful, because I think some little birds might like to come in there and people might like to be in the basket as well. Have I got scissors? Yes, I have. Mm. I know. It's not nice. I think it looks blue sky here, but you know that they can hear in the background. No, no. Some of these images, these will be lovely for my. Oh, that's so lovely. Be lovely for my fairy journal. Gosh, that's lovely. I might put that in there. Oh, gosh, that's a lot of things for the next fairy journal, isn't it? I don't know how big it's going to be. Oh, it's that big. It's the little mushroom one. Really? <laughs> going to have to make another one. Mm. Oh, cat. Yeah, cat. You would love them. Oh, cat. Yes. This is the bird, the wild flowers. But I remember when I was a little girl, we had a bird one as well. But this one 
is Wild Flowers of Britain. I don't think it's got its cover. Isn't it lovely? But I do remember it. I remember looking at the pages and drawing them in my own way. So, yes, there were lots of different things. So there was cars, kings and queens, I remember. Hmm. Oh, Lily's afraid, is she, Anne? I know. Hmm. <laughs> they are gorgeous, aren't they? I will treasure that. Yes. Did Julia come back? Oh, look. So I've got, I've got the forest picture here. I have to find some for that postcard. And something with the letter B. I see this vintage baby bath. And I think it's got a little duck there, Barbara. <laughs> but I can see that the little birds might want to come down into the forest and, and get some water and have a bird bath. We used to have a budgie who used to like having a bird bath. Oh. oh, gosh, this is lovely. I won't cover up those blueberries, Kerr. That's it. I'll pop that there. I'm just tacking things down so we don't know what's coming, do we? Hmm. First cat scared of the thunder. Oh yes, because you had yes, you had the storms the other day and you had to go and check on her, didn't you? Hmm. That's it. Oh now Karen B, do you want to make sure you press live chat so you've got like a little red button so you're you're up to date in the chat? No pressure though. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. There's, um, there's Julia back. Fancy having a frog, Julia. That'll get all the slugs and snails. Hmm, wonderful. Let's have another prompt. Use your tear ruler. Now, that's a reminder, so I use my tear ruler. And Anne Lair, I know once you made a tear ruler, didn't you? You can make them. Or you could, you know, when you get, say, like grease with paper or foil. Oh, don't cut yourself though, that you get the serrated edge. But you made one, didn't you, Anne? I had to step right over Fred because he's just down there. Oh, let's let's get some painting paper out and get written. Mm. The reason I put these in is a reminder so that I actually use the use the rulers. Oh, just tear. You should tear. Hmm. Yeah, that's it. Make sure you're in the live chat. Easy to do, isn't it? You just walk away and, yeah. This little um, prompt card, you see that? I did that with on Mary's channel. When you do a watercolour, then you put the stencil over. And then where the stencil is, you just wipe with, was it like cotton wool and water? You just wipe where the stencil is. And it takes away some of the watercolour paint. There's Jassie. Good morning, Jassie. So nice to see you. Come on in. Welcome. Welcome to my house. <laughs> I do see you a lot over in Lovely Beths, don't I? There, I have ripped some paper with my tear ruler. That was lovely. So I've got some sky. Oh, lovely. It's sort of a work in progress. Oh, I might just. Hmm. Oh, lovely. Now, would you. Oh, thank you. Would you like to pop in numbers again between 1 and 150? Because I would like to send you a postcard. I'm going to be making a postcard. 
at the same time as doing my prompts. So pop in. numbers between 1 and 150 and we'll do a little draw and on the postcards I, there's not much room here but I have been writing out prompts for you so I'll send you a postcard and I, I write some little prompts for you so when you receive it you can make a little picture use the prompts no pressure though mm. 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 there we are Next prompt is, so what have we had so far? So I get chatting and then, hmm. I've got forest. I've got something with the, beginning with the letter B and use your tear ruler if you have one. If not, you could look up how to make them with card if you want to. If not, tear paper with any ruler, maybe. Hmm. What's the next one? Paper doll. Make a paper doll. And I noticed that Anne Lair, if you want to leave the link to your live yesterday, I did see the, the thumbnail, but it was my bedtime, Laura. So, yeah. That's it, pop numbers in for yourself and for other people and your next door neighbour or your friend. Make sure you're on live chat too. You mean if you're on your phone, you get like a little red, I'm not sure about the computer, but you have like a little red button and it shines, yeah. Mm. Oh, Barbara, take care. Bye-bye. Oh, nice to see you. Bye, Barbara. <laughs> Thank you for joining us and all the lovely things that you shared, the time that you shared with us. Thank you. Jassy loves to make paper dolls. Yes, pop your link in, Anne, because I believe that you did paper dolls yesterday. Yes, and I think I would like to make one like Anne's. Anne did for my for my I, I might make her into a paper dog. I think she needs fairy wings. I'll see. I'll see. I will enjoy making this later. Popping your numbers in. Ah, mm. oh, Susan, you've popped a number in for Barb because she's literally just walked out the door, didn't she? It'd be a nice surprise for her, wouldn't it? Mm. Mm. Well, you'll have to... Um, Apologise to Laura Crojo's creations that I didn't, but I didn't put two and two together. <laughs> oh dear, what am I like, Julia? Hmm. Right, I will do random number generator, and postcards are such a joy to make, and they're very just take one stamp, and they're so easy to send happy mail to friends. It really is. I'm just generating a number. We finished here. Number 35, who's got 35 on or nearest under? Hmm. That's it. Anne's put her link in. Do go to Anne's because Anne is making one look like you're making wonderful paper dolls yesterday. <laughs> ah, that, that'll give help to these prompts, I think. Hmm. So you'll be able to tell me, Jessie had 25. Is there only one a, a little nearer to 35? Maybe not. I, I'll just leave it to, to you all to figure that out. So I've got forest and something with the letter B. Use the tear ruler or ruler. Paper doll and let's make one, two, three, four, five, that's five. Let's make five prompts today. Use plastic as a paint palette. Oh, wow. So it, it's you get your acetate or from food packaging, or you might have an acetate sheet, a bit of packaging, and use it as a palette, mix your colors, and wow, that's lovely. Or if you don't want to use, if you haven't got any plastic, you can just use a piece of paper or your jelly plate as a, 
a palette. It's just an idea, really. And Kat said, Irene, she heard your wonderful news. That is wonderful. Mm. Cat C is a new subby to Anne's. That's wonderful, wonderful. Ah, oh, lovely. So, it's 27. Susan Lee had, I'm getting, yeah, Susan Lee was the nearest. Oh, you put one in. Thank you for, for Barbara Ching. Yeah. So, is Susan Lee is the nearest, I think. Yes. Yeah, so, let's put Susan Lee, who is visiting with her sister. So I will send her a postcard so it will be on her doorstep when when she arrives home. <laughs> you could, oh, that's it, thank you. You could cut a plastic shaped paint palette and just let some bits of paint dry on it and then staple it on. Becky, that's an amazing idea. So some plastic from food packaging, it doesn't have to be clear, it could be a, any sort of plastic. Oh, yes, actually put the paint palette on. Wonderful. <laughs> so, Dana, did the happy mail arrive? Oh, how wonderful. I can't remember what you, you won now. It was something the other week. I, oh, I, it's, isn't it a miracle, Dana? Don't you think when postage arrives, because it's got such a long journey, and the, the, the stamps and the envelopes are so decorated. You think, oh, they're never going to reach. But they do. <laughs> ah. Well, it is time for me to say goodbye. We've got five prompts today. If you want me to read them out, um, let me know again. I will be posting them on my community tab. So soon <laughs> so you can catch that let me see if i can get freddie to stand up so he can say goodbye would you come and sit up on here so you can say goodbye to people freddie come up come come to me i don't think i can get him to sit on the chair because he's a bit anxious of the thunder I... you know when you've been scared of something it's it sort of you sit darling thank you Oh, um, like almost a little heart shape. Hey. There you go. Now, would you like to come and sit up on your chair again? That's a definite no. Would you like to come and sit up on here again so you can say goodbye to people? No, no, he doesn't want to. Yeah. He doesn't want to, do you? No, that's fine, darling. People can see you there. That's it. There you go. Right, well, it's just time for me to say goodbye. Thank you. This has been amazing. Penny, goodbye, and Cindy. Cheryl, do take good care. Thanks for coming in, Kat, and Irene as well, and Nydia. Oh, it was a uh heart. -huh. Oh, Susan Lee's sister had 35, says Nydia. Oh, wow. Susan, um, message me and I think I'll be sending it to your sister. Let's let's talk. Let's, how funny. You talk. Yes, talk to me. <laughs> I love that. I love that. How nice. Reach out to me on social media, Susan. We'll have a good chat and have a lovely day with your sister. How amazing. Take care, care, and enjoy working in your gorgeous, gorgeous tea stained book. Take care, Lisa. Bye, Susan. Mm. Bye, Penny. Bye, Jesse. I'm so glad that you could join me here on my live. Bye, Julia. Thank you for your help today. <laughs> Let me just go down. Hmm. Dream with Caroline. So nice to see you. <laughs> oh, have a lovely creative day. Bye, Cat C. <laughs> and bye, Cat H. <laughs> have a lovely creative week.
Goodbye, Laurie B. Oh, Linda Sue, take good care. And Heather, take good care. And Julia, it's so lovely that you and your little frog could join us this afternoon. <laughs> take care, Penny. Take care. Bye, Marianne. And lovely replays. Goodbye. And gentle listeners. Goodbye. Thank you so much for joining us all. Oh, it's lovely. Mary Ann, bye. And have a lovely walk tomorrow, Mary Ann. Thank you for spending your time with me and every, all the lovely chat here, everybody. Bye, Jean. <laughs> Don't kiss the frog, will you, Julia? <laughs> oh, dear. Take good care, Cheryl. Love to you and the family. Hmm. Bye, care. Yes, have a great week all. And from, says Julia, and happy creating this week, says Kat. Mm, Kat H. <laughs> oh, Vicky, take good care. So I can't, I will put the phone down, but I can't believe it's just, to me, it feels like it's just gone so quickly. I can barely believe it. <laughs> oh. Take good care. Have I missed anyone? Mm. Bye, Michaelia. Take good care. I'll pop the phone down. Bye, everyone.